All right, we just bought another house here in Boca Raton. This is going to be another flip, the whole process on this house from start to finish. So we closed on this yesterday. Today's actually Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving morning, we're getting ready to go to have dinner with our family. But yesterday we closed on this property. The tenants moved out, the people who were living there. It was an absolute wreck when we saw it. Let's come take a look at the before, and then we'll walk you through the process of the entire flip from start to finish, what we're doing, what we're ripping out, what we're putting in, the financials, the whole thing. So let's come take a look at what we got right now. This is a three bed room, two bath house. We're in the Boca Square neighborhood here in Boca Raton. So we're just east of 95, just south of Palmetto Park. Um, this is a three bed, two bath with a carport. We are not going to change this into a garage, but if someone wanted to, they could definitely convert this carport into a garage. For a flip, it probably doesn't make a lot of sense, but someone could. We are going to obviously paint the whole outside of this house by the time we're done. We're gonna do some windows hurricane impact. So we're probably thinking this big window up front here, Definitely the front door, definitely these two doors. So we'll see it in a second, but this door takes you into the kitchen. This door takes you into the laundry room. And currently there's no way to get from the kitchen to the laundry room without coming outside. But we're gonna cut through the wall here to make it a little door so you can get from the main house to the laundry room. And that's also gonna add square footage to the house because right now the laundry room is not AC'd. So it's like 1754 square feet, but once we cut through it and the AC can flow through, we now have 1806 square feet under air. So that's gonna increase the size of the house and we think add value to the property. So come on in, let's see what we got. This house was built in, I think 1965. There was the main house and then they added this whole wing on that side that we'll show you. So uh, that's all an addition. When the house was built, where I'm standing currently was the family room. I'm not sure what this corner was originally designed for, but this was the family room. This was the dining room right here. And then we got the kitchen down this way. So let's go take a look at the kitchen. So currently it's this galley style kitchen. Obviously we're gonna rip this whole thing up. All these dropped ceilings, these are gonna get raised. Um, we are gonna open this whole side of the kitchen up. So we'd love to open this side of the kitchen up to this big family room addition that was made, but this was the exterior of the house at one point. So this wall is all concrete. I guess it's doable, but it's just gonna be way too cost prohibitive for us. So we're gonna leave this side the way that it is. This side, we're gonna open up to the family room here. And this wall is gonna come out. We're gonna extend the kitchen all down this way. Um, so we're thinking, you know, a pantry over here. I guess this side will be more cabinets because we're going to lose some cabinets when we open this. Um, and then this is going to be just a giant island here um, open to that family room, that front room. So when you walk in, you walk into this big, great room. It's going to feel a lot bigger and very, very open. It's going to be a really modern kitchen. This side, th this wall, the other side of it is the laundry room. Right now, you have to go out this door and come out the door on the other side to get to the laundry room. We're gonna cut through this wall so you get access straight to the laundry room here. We're probably gonna have to move some things around, but we're gonna do all that to make sure that you get access to everything and that's gonna increase the square footage of the house, actually. So now in the family room, we got this lovely 1960s wallpaper. So this is all gonna come off. Now this was originally the exterior of the house that has since been enclosed. So um, if it's possible, we'll open it up this way, but I really don't think so. This wallpaper is gonna come out. This is gonna come out. This is gonna be you know, the big entertaining uh, family room area. This lovely wood paneling on the walls. This is all gonna come out. This is gonna come out. So we're gonna open this up a little bit more, make the room, you know, you're gonna add about a foot and a half of space to this room. So this is gonna be a really, really big family room for you know, the family to entertain, the kids to play, and you're gonna watch your TV on this wall. So this is gonna be a really nice room when we're done. Um, this we're probably gonna, you know, leave, we're not gonna do much with it, but this was like their little Eden area here. This was their dining room. I'm thinking maybe this is gonna be like a work from home kind of space. We're not really sure, because when we open this up, we're gonna move this fan centered in this room, make it a chandelier. And we're thinking this is gonna be the formal dining room. So you walk in, big open kitchen, formal dining room here. So you get a big space for entertaining, you get your big family room over there. You know, no one really needs a formal living room these days. No one's really using it. So it's just gonna give you the big room for family room, big room for dining room. I think that's the best of both worlds. Then we got the bedrooms back this way. In the bedroom area here, you got this beautiful 1960s bathroom. We are going to completely rip this up. They start demo tomorrow, the day after Thanksgiving. So we're obviously gonna go from this 
beautiful, beautiful 1960s pink to uh, a very modern, we're thinking like a white, marbly kind of look um, to make it feel brighter. You got a big linen closet over here. There's another linen closet in the hallway here, which now that I'm thinking about it, I don't know if it's possible to expand the bathroom. That's the master bathroom's on this side, so maybe we expand it this way or somehow make this a, another closet for the master. I'm not really sure, but good storage space here. You got the master on this side of the house. Decent sized master for this neighborhood. Um, and this is pretty standard. You got one closet right now over here. Um, you got the master bathroom, which only has one sink, but I think it's big enough to fit two smaller sinks side by side. So we're gonna go in there. I think we're gonna try to do that. Obviously, we're gonna gut the entire thing down to the studs and redo the bathroom. Again, we're probably gonna go with something white and light and bright to really make it feel a lot bigger. And you got this uh, cabana bath door over here that takes you out to the pool area, which we'll get to. Um, so that we're gonna probably replace with an impact rated door to make it look modern and complete. I think if you redo the entire bathroom, but you don't change the door, you get this beautiful bathroom, but a very 60s looking door, and I feel like it might be weird, so we're gonna change that door. Then you got two other bedrooms here on this side, both decent sized. Um, originally, when we first saw the house, there were some tenants living in the house, and this was full of stuff. You know, the, the house was pretty gross, to be honest. They got all their stuff out, so we saved a little money on our last flip, if you remember. Uh, it was a hoarder who lived there, they left stuff everywhere and we had to spend about 1200 bucks cleaning the house out they left it empty for us and not only that there was some really gross original 60s looking carpet everywhere um, they ripped that out for us so that did us uh, not that it's super expensive to rip out old carpet but it saved us a little bit of time and probably a little bit of demo cost as well this is the green room we're going to repaint this obviously uh, popcorn is going to come off all the ceilings uh, so everything's going to be you know, brand new by the time we're done in here. This was the carpet that was in the entire house, this green looking, very dirty 60s carpet. This was everywhere in the house. So we're gonna obviously rip that carpet out. We're gonna do one tile floor throughout the entire, entire house. We are debating what type of flooring we're gonna do, but one bigger tile, modern floor throughout the entire house to give it all a clean, seamless look. Let's come on outside because I think this is part of what's going to sell this house for us. When you walk in, you see these huge sliding glass doors. This is a really cool, lets in a lot of light. So it's a really nice feature, but these are the original 60s windows. So we're thinking about replacing these with impact rated sliders. I don't want to do the entire house because it's very expensive. Then as you come out, you got a really nice, very big covered patio area, but the roof, the flat roof that's on this part of the house is completely shot. It's just terrible. We have a quote from the, uh, the roofer that we use to come out. It's about $10,500 and they're going to come in and completely redo all the flat roof on the entire house. So you got this big patio area, everything over that big family room that was all added on. That is all going to be redone with a new flat roof because as you can see here, it's clearly leaking. It's seen better days. So this is all going to be replaced. All the drywall is going to be fixed and it's going to be in much better shape. Obviously, we're going to pressure clean the patio because this is gross and dirty. We got someone coming to redo all the pools. So they're going to re-diamond bright the pool and change the pool tiles because you got these currently, um, you got these pink, disgusting 60s looking tile. But this is a really, really good sized pool and patio area. So I think this is one of the good selling features of this house. In addition to that, we're a corner lot here. So this lot is over 10,000 square feet, which for the neighborhood is really, really big. So most of the homes in this neighborhood are 7,000 to 8,500 square foot lot. We're over 10,000 on a corner lot. So it's a good size lot. There's just a lot of this shrubs and trees and greenery back here that it, you know, it's making the lot feel a lot smaller right now. Um, but I'll show you where the property line goes to. This screen enclosure as well, very 60s, you know, it's got the flat, uh, you know, flat screen. It just feels old and dated. So once we get a fence around the property line, they're gonna take this down. For code purposes, you need to either have a fence or some sort of screen enclosure or a pool baby gate. So we can't take down the screen enclosure until we redo this landscaping and then put a fence down there, but this will come off. 
So like I was saying, this lot is really, really big. Believe it or not, our property line comes all the way out to, comes out to basically here. So everything you're seeing, all the shrubs and trees and stuff like that, this is on our property. So we're gonna rip up almost all of this. We're gonna leave some of these really big, nice, beautiful uh, palm trees and, some, and that kind of stuff. But these, these little trees, all these bushes and shrubs and all that, it's all gonna come out and it's gonna really open up this whole backyard and then we're gonna fence it in so you have a really good sized backyard for the neighborhood, fully fenced in and private. I think that's really gonna be a good selling feature for a lot of families coming in here, moving into the neighborhood. And everyone wants their space for the kids to run around behind the house and behind the pool. So that's gonna be a really nice feature for us. So again, our property line goes you know, past these trees here. Um, there's a little like, chicken wire kind of fence that the neighbors installed. So you really can't see and appreciate how big the lot on this house really is, but it is a very good sized lot. We got the landscaper coming uh, first thing next week to rip all of this out to really be able to see how big this lot really is. Um, and then, like I said, they're gonna put in the fence to make it private and really, really nice. And this house was built in the 60s. These clamshells were kind of made for hurricane protection. They just look super dated. And obviously these have not been uh, maintained very well. They're dirty, they're rusty, they're just kind of gross and they make the house look a lot older. So we're gonna take all of these off when we paint the outside of the house, it's gonna be night and day. The house is gonna look completely different without all these clamshells on these windows. So we're in the Boca Square neighborhood, which is a really nice neighborhood. We're here, we're east of 95, so you're close to everything, and we're zoned for Addison Meisner Elementary and Middle School. So if you don't know, this is kind of like the hottest school district in Boca right now. They just tore down the school completely, and they completely rebuild it from kindergarten all the way through eighth grade. So it's Addison Meisner Elementary and Middle. That's a big draw right now, so there's a lot of people moving into this neighborhood, a lot of families, a lot of money coming in here, and people coming in and you know redoing houses. So so it's a really hot neighborhood. We think we're gonna be able to do very well on this property. We ended up buying it for $481,000 and change, about $482,000. With that, you had to buy this cash. There was multiple, multiple offers on this. In order for us to do that, we definitely don't have that much cash just lying around. We took out a home equity line actually on our house. So we borrowed the money from the equity in our house to be able to make this investment plus some of the cash that we had you know, saved up from whatever else we're, we're doing. So some of it is our money, some of it we borrowed against our house. So owning a home actually allowed us to make investments like this and you know, create more opportunity for us to make other, make other money. Um, so that's just one of the benefits of home ownership. So if you haven't taken out a home equity line on your house, or if you have any credit, uh, questions on any of that kind of stuff, Make sure you reach out to us. It's a really great way to have money available. It doesn't cost you anything until you draw on it. Yes, there is interest that we have to pay on that money, but it's a lot cheaper than it would have been to take out a hard money loan at 10% interest. The interest rate's less than half of that. So um, home equity lines are, have been a lifesaver. It's a great way for us to buy these kind of flips. We bought the property for about $482,000 based on our numbers of painting the house inside and out, kitchens, bathrooms, plumbing, electrical, all the things that we gotta do here, roof. I mean, there is really a lot of work. There's nothing in this house that's save, uh, salvageable, but we think we're gonna be at about $140,000 when we're all said and done as far as improvements to the house. So at 482 plus $140,000 in uh, improvements, we think we can sell this property by the time we're done for close to $725,000. If it had a one car garage, I'd be much more certain we can get even more money, but I think $725,000 should be all day on a property like this. Um, so we'll see uh, at the end of the day what we end up selling it for, but that's gonna be our target price. So there's gonna be a good amount of profit in this property if we can hit, hit our numbers and, and sell it for what we think we can and keep our costs down. The issue with flipping houses, as I'm sure you can imagine, once you start ripping things up and doing this work, costs add up and there's hidden things that you don't necessarily, you weren't planning for. So we're hoping that we've done our homework on this enough to know what has to go in and we'll be okay. But this is hopefully gonna be a very good flip for us. We're super excited to show you the process. If you have any questions about flipping homes, investing, proper, investing in properties in South Florida, buying or selling, our full-time job, we are realtors. This is what we do day in and day out. Obviously, when we see a good opportunity, we jump on it. We're very bullish about the housing market here in South Florida, even with everything that's been going on with COVID and home prices going up like this. We just don't see 
the dynamics of the, the housing market and the economy really changing to cause a crash in prices. So I don't think there's any way we can lose money on this. We're hoping we make a good amount of profit, uh, but we're very bullish about the housing market here in South Florida. We're investing along with our clients. We don't just tell people, hey, you should buy a house, you should buy a house. This is the second house that we've bought this year in 2021. So we're very bullish, like I said, on the direction of the housing market. If you have any questions about buying a home, selling a home, investing, anything like that here in South Florida, make sure you give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email. Stay tuned to our blog, and please, if you like this content, subscribe to our channel, like, comment, and share. Send it to your friends. We'd love to answer any of your questions, and I look forward to seeing you on the next vlog.